Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see the top 10 text editors in the Linux environment. So first I will list out all the text editors, the top 10 list editors and then we will see how we can open the text editor and the interface of those text editors. The first one is VI editor and G edit, nano editor or we can also call it as a Pico editor and Vim editor. So these are the four editors which will come with the in installation of Linux environment. So we need not go with the explicit installation of these editors. First we will see these four. So go to the Linux environment. So here uh, first go to the terminal which is a command prompt we call in uh, Windows environment. So here you can see uh, type vi so that the editor will be open and VI editor comes with the two different modes that is a command mode and uh, uh, implementation mode so if command mode or insert mode so if you want to type any text so go with the insert mode by pressing i so obviously it will move on with the insert mode so you can write down the text and press escape colon wq followed by the file name so automatically it will be saved right so here you can see hi.txt right so vi edit vi editor is the most commonly used editor so which comes with the two different modes command mode and insert mode and the next one is a g edit so just type g edit and press enter you will be getting the graphical user interface and here you can write the text and you can you will be finding the options to save and again if you want to open whatever the file is available so you can also open the file and you can see what ha uh, what exactly the content available in that particular file right so this is one graphical user interface editor gui editor right g edit and similarly nano so again it will similarly looks like the command command line interface so nano uh, let us go with the welcome see this is again the command line similar to our command line and here you will be finding all the options so if you want to exit from this you, you have to press control and x so here the symbol cap symbol uh, represents the control button in your keyboard so if you want to write out the file name so just press control and click on o so that it will be uh, written into the file name so we can save that with a different file names right so this is a cut paste and all the uh, different options will be available and these options options will be used only with the help of a control button so now i am pressing control and x so it will exit the complete editor will be get exited right so that is a nano and also pico this is also similar to nano so you can observe pico so the environment is completely similar to our nano right so again control x it comes out from the editor and the next one is the most familiar editor in linux environment that is a vim editor so vim also one familiar editor okay it was not installed so if you get if you get uh, this type of uh, uh, error so simply you can go with the installation sudo apt get install the name so it will ask for your password so just click on the password and the complete uh, application or package or module whatever it may be so that will be installed in your linux environment so the only one command is sudo apt get install so sudo apt get install followed by the software name or a package name okay you can observe here the status so it may take some time so depends upon your uh, internet uh, speed Yes, so once everything is completed, you will be getting the prompt again. So now you can see Vim welcome. So this is a one more editor which looks just so similar to our VI editor. Okay, so this is also similar and come out from the file. So Vim is similar to VI editor, Nano is similar to Pico editor and G edit is a graphical user editor. And there are different editors which comes with the installation so see 
yes so these three comes along with the installation of ubuntu so we need not uh, we have not installed this uh, v editor or a g editor or nano or pico explicitly but here we are installing these editors by using sudo add so one more editor by uh, which we have we can install by using the uh, command is a kate see you can observe kate followed by file name or you can simply apply the kate press enter again you will be uh, finding the error command kate not found so you can install from you by using sudo apt get install kate so that that particular package will be installed in your system so once you get installed you can make use of that editor in your linux environment okay So you got a prompt that means already the Kate has been installed so now you can type Kate and that will be open in your Linux environment see this is also a graphical user interface and you can see the file menu the cursor and everything right see the line numbers are also being given right so this is a one more editor we can use in the Linux environment and we'll go with the next editor so which is a JED so JED is also one more editor so we can make use of uh, typing the text so here also we got the same thing so you can use a command sudo apt get install JED so that it will be get installed so once it was installed we can open and we can make use of that particular text editor in order to type the text So any kind of files can be created by using all these text editors. So now you can see JED. So this is one more text editor which is similar to our uh, DOS prompt in uh, Windows environment. Okay, here also you will be finding different file menus. But this is completely command line. So mouse will not be uh, used here. Okay, it was not enabled. So if you want to open the file menu, so you can go with the alt f so that a file menu will be opened and similarly alt e uh, edit menu alt s so here the first letters have been highlighted so so just press alt and the highlighted letter to open the menu so i, I this is completely similar to the command prompt okay so mouse will not be enabled here so i am just exiting from this so that is a jed okay so next gne so one more editor Gani. so again we got the same thing so all these editors we are supposed to install them whenever it is required so by using the sudo app get install uh, gani so once again it will be getting installed here So it was get installed so you can uh, open by using the command gne so that the editor will be opened here see this is also similar to our gui so here you can write the code you can execute okay so you will see the one more option called a build so that you can uh, create different projects different files related files in this particular text editor okay so this is a graphical user interface and then one more editor similar to this GNE that is a Emacs. So this is a Emacs editor. So this is also similar to our notepad in Windows environment. So you'll be finding the uh, file options, menu options here. So mouse is enabled. So you can use the menu by using the mouse. So this is similar to our notepad in Windows environment. Actually, this should also be installed by using sudo apt get already in my system i have installed this emacs so uh, i got directly the emacs editor has been opened 
right the next this type of editor we call it as a bluefish so it was not installed so we have to install it sudo app get install bluefish so it will start executing So you can check uh, command prompt has been there. So just type bluefish. So the editor will be open and this will also be used just like an IDE integrated development environment. So to write the codes and to build the codes to run the codes. And here you can see the C Apache DHTML dogbook HTML PHP SQL even Python. So all these kind of files can be created by using these bluefish editor okay so there are different uh, file menu and this is a graphical user interface so mouse will be enabled so you can use a mouse to go with the uh, different options right so css you can also see the css html uh, tags formatting tags table tag list tags css everything so this was somewhat advanced to all the remaining text editors right and the next one is a code light so this is a one more editor we can use in linux environment so this is also we installed by using sudo apt get install code light so again install the same so once it goes get installed so we can make use of code light environment okay Now you can see we got an uh, prompt so that we can make use of code light. So this is also a graphical user uh, enabled editor. So here also you can write a different C programs, C++ programs, etc. You will be having uh, the build option. So you can build a project, you can run the project. So debuggers will be there, plugins will be there, different plugins we can uh, install different plugins right so this is also similar to the ide so we can make use of this editor to write the code in different languages and we can try to execute the codes right this is a one more uh, text editor in linux environment so we have seen a few things vi editor gedit and nano or pico which comes along with the installation of ubuntu and we have seen a vim kate uh, jed gianni and similarly emacs bluefish and uh, code light so these editors comes doesn't comes along with the installation of ubuntu so we are supposed to install these editors with the help of sudo apt get install command okay so these are the top 10 text editors we can make use of writing codes or a text uh, in linux environment right hope you understood this one and uh, definitely this video may be useful for you uh, if you are working in the linux environment uh, and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much